I just realized I don't ever want to go back in there again. You want to go in? With the unforeseen success of Netflix's very own The Queen's Gambit, no name has been more popular than that of Anya Taylor-Joy. Having already appeared in a number of television shows over the years, it was her performance as the enigmatic Beth Harmon that caused critics and viewers alike to swoon over both her beauty and grace. But did you know that, like Beth Harmon, Anya too has a past littered with both mystery and intrigue, leaving many to ask, who exactly is she? So if you're a fan of Hollywood's latest leading lady or just love to know everything everything you can about the best and brightest rising stars. Stay right where you are as we're about to explore some of the dark and hidden secrets of Anya Taylor-Joy. You won't want to miss a single one. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini or MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Her interesting background. While the the vast majority of us can answer the question of where we come from with a few simple words, the same can't be said for Anya Taylor-Joy, who can surprisingly trace her heritage to at least five different places. She was born to a mother who is half British and half Spanish, and a father who is half Scottish, half Argentinian. While her mother was raised in Zambia, her dear old father was raised in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Funnily enough, although Anya was actually born in Miami, Florida, she spent the first six years of her life living with the rest of her family in her father's hometown. But then relocated to London, England. A few years later and her family once more relocated, but this time to New York. Since this was such an early age for Anya, you can imagine just how difficult it must have been for her to move from place to place. In fact, Anya has stated in past interviews that although she really appreciated the fact that she could experience so many cultures while growing up, leaving her friends behind was always the hardest thing for her. But hey, it looks like these experiences helped in making her into the amazing actress that she is today. Anya's refusal to talk the talk. As we said earlier, Anya wasn't always the biggest fan of uprooting her life so that her family could move to a different country. From learning Spanish in Argentina for the first few years of her life, Anya's move to London was tougher than most of us could imagine. She not only had to leave her friends behind, but had to learn a brand new language, which in all honesty, the vast majority of English speakers still battle with. So in a fit of protest and in hope that her denial would cause her family to move back to Buenos Aires, Anya flat out refused to learn English, making her integration into London near to impossible. She actually spent two years there without having learned to single word, but finally saw that this wasn't working and essentially gave in. And it's a good thing too, as speaking English clearly and fluently is one of the most important aspects of being a world-class actress. She is proud to be Latina. Although she only spent the first six years of her life in Argentina and later succumbed to the typical British and American lifestyle, Anya is still incredibly proud to be a Latina and has in many interviews attributed her warmth and outlook in life to her earlier roots. Funnily enough, although she uses English far more than she does Spanish, she still considers Spanish to be her mother tongue, showing just how proud she is of her heritage. This earlier heritage of hers also shines through when asked about her favorite foods to eat, the vast majority of which are Argentinian in nature. Everything from empanadas to churros, the starlet loves them all. Suffice to say, Anya Taylor-Joy is Latina in heart, mind, and love for food, of course. The start of her career. Surprisingly enough, we would have probably never heard of Anya today if her family hadn't decided to move to London, as it was the city of Big Ben, where Anya was actually given her first break in the acting world. While walking outside one day, she was spotted by the famous Sarah Dukas of Storm Model Management, most of whom you will know from discovering the likes of Cara Delevingne and Kate Moss. When noticing the black car trailing down her street, Anya actually thought that she was being stalked and almost ran for the hills out of fright. She then heard someone shout at her from the car saying that if she stops, she most definitely won't regret it. And while parents usually teach their children not to talk to strangers, this is the one time such advice was luckily thrown out the door as it resulted in Anya being noticed. The very next day, she was signed by the agency which opened up a lot of doors for the young actress. Her actual hair color. Believe it or not, but Anya is not actually a redhead as she was when portraying the insatiable Beth Harmon. So then what color is her natural hair? Well, if you look at the majority of her performances, there are a few colors that stand out, ranging from that fiery red that we saw in The Queen's Gambit to either black or brown. Her role as Magic in The New Mutants showed her off for the first time with blonde hair, which in all honesty didn't seem to suit her after the rest of the world was so used to seeing her a few shades darker. But believe
believe it or not, blonde is actually Anya's natural hair color, which absolutely blew our minds when we found out. Who knew she had always been a platinum blonde bombshell? Not us. Anya's morning routine. Anya Taylor-Joy still lives in New York and looks to be getting used to the hustle and bustle of big city life. When asked about her morning routine, Anya commented that she can't get out of bed without first having a cup of black coffee, which she swears is just part of who she is now. And since coffee is the lifeblood of most New Yorkers, there's no wonder she's taken this habit as one of her own. She also claimed that the reason for her energetic and bubbly personality is far more than black coffee though, as she also makes a point to do at least 15 minutes of happy dancing once the caffeine is in her veins. Considering how the vast majority of New Yorkers refuse to smile, we're thinking Anya has finally discovered how to make the city as kind and loving as her. Happy dancing for everyone! It's no wonder she looked so at home when dancing as Beth Harmon. Don't mistake her for her roles. Because Anya is such a great actress, many assume that she just has to be an incredible chess player like Beth Harmon. But Anya has admitted that nothing can be further from the truth. Sure, she knows the rules and can actually play the game, but by no means should she be considered as an expert in the field of the game. In fact, before portraying Miss Harmon, she lost almost every game she played. That being said, she made sure to learn as much about chess before and after agreeing to play the leading role in The Queen's Gambit, increasing her skills and movements dramatically so that she could at least feign being a chess prodigy. She even studied chess theory to gain a deeper understanding of the sport, which is crazy considering how she was being told which pieces should go where. This just goes to show how dedicated she was to the role. And while chess might not be her strong suit, she does have a great many other talents that are far more creative in nature. Believe it or not, but Anya can actually play both the ukulele and electric guitar like a pro, making her one of the coolest actresses around. She has an incredible memory. We do, however, think that with more training, Anya could become a really great chess player, as seen by her dedication to the art. In fact, in most instances during the filming of The Queen's Gambit, Anya was asked to memorize move sequences so that she could play smoothly with some style. Memorizing a sequence of moves in an ordinary game is one thing, but watching the series shows that she took this a step further. Remember those portions of the show where she played various rounds of Blitz Chess against Benny Watts? Those games were completely memorized and consisted of a number of moves, each done quicker than the last. It's incredible to imagine just how much work Anya put into making Beth Harmon look as amazing as she did. Now that's talent, her own obsession. It's clear to see that we're absolutely obsessed with Anya Taylor-Joy. But like an ordinary person, she also has her own obsessions. Probably one of her biggest is her fascination with the 1998 drama Dawson's Creek. She actually disclosed in an interview with BuzzFeed that she doesn't watch a lot of television, but has a few older shows that she can't help but rewatch every now and again. We've already mentioned Dawson's Creek, which is by far her favorite, but other classics she can't seem to get away from include Freaks and Geeks, as well as Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter. Acting is her true passion, although she has a heavy inclination towards the art of music and started things off as a model, Anya has always wanted to be an actress and nothing more. In fact, the young star dropped out of school back when she was only 16 years old so she could follow this passion of hers and make it into a career. And although it's always far more preferable to first finish up in high school before taking such a leap of faith, at least this worked out for Anya. Otherwise, the decision would have been disastrous to say the least. Since she got her first big break when she was 19, you can imagine the regret Anya must have felt for those three long years spent doing nothing after having dropped out of school. But she continued forward until she was finally a household name, showing just how consistent she was in never changing what she wanted to be. Strangely enough, Anya has admitted that quitting school was one of the easiest decisions she's ever had to make. School was far more of a chore for the young starlet as she didn't have a lot of friends, made worse by the fact that her family was constantly moving from place to place. She also had a problem with bullies and reached the point where she didn't think she could learn anything in such a negative environment. We're just happy things worked out for Anya in the long term. But what do you think of the leading lady of the Queen's Gambit and the life she's kept hidden for all this time? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below.